Hey everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media and today we're addressing a situation with the seating position in the Fox body. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we're back. This is uh, the Boost Junkie, of course. And as I said, we are addressing a, a seating situation here in the Fox body. Um, as you can see here, this is the driver's side of the car. So we've got the seat that I had in there. And I don't know if I've ever really talked about it, but I had a set of the Corbo uh, racing seats with bolsters on the side. I don't remember the exact ones. I think it was like the GTSs or something like that. Um, but basically the seat was too high and I am six foot four. And so because of the height of me, the seat sitting too high, put my head up into the ceiling, when I, especially when I was wearing a helmet. Uh, so not an optimal position for, uh, for racing really. So we are going to address that. And so what we've done here is I've picked up this seat bracket here. This is from a company called FFP Customs. Um, and I actually picked this up off of Summit. That's why I went ahead and, and bought it is because I knew for one, if it didn't work, I could always return it. Um, so what we're kind of looking at here is on this kit is you've got a bracket that bolts down here to the, to the floor, to the stock bolt positions, bolts to the stock studs here in the front. And then this top bracket here that I'm running my hand on, it then bolts to this under piece here in the back and to your stud in the front. So that gives you your rails for your seat. And then since this is a Kirky seat that I'm going with, which is a, a more traditional, you know, lightweight aluminum racing seat, um, but I've actually found them to be fairly comfortable. I've, I've had one in you know previous cars and never had an issue with them. Um, they tend to work really well with a side mount. And so these brackets here then come with the FFP kit and they bolt to these rails and the adjustments here in the front you see are where you can adjust your lean back and then you have bolt holes back here so you can lift the seat up a little bit, lower it down more if you need to, whatever you need to do. Um, and I do know that I, you can also use these, I believe with like a Zeus fastener where you can just install the seat, turn a Zeus fastener and put your seat in. If you need to pop the seat out, you can undo that fastener and pop the seat out real quick if you needed to. So that's kind of what we're working on today. Um, I have already pretty much mocked everything up. This is already all installed. Everything's bolted down. And so the next step we're gonna be doing is actually dropping the Kirky in here. We have to make markings on our side brackets here. We're gonna bolt in the other side first because it's harder to get to because of the center console. We'll get that side all bolted up. We'll then lift this side up to where we need to, to get the seat level. We'll mark this side here, drill the holes there and put the bolts through. And I think we'll be, we'll be done, good to go. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll kind of show you, you know, as we go along, I'll, I'll pop in and kind of show you what we're doing and how we're, you know, where we're at. And then I'll show you the finished product at the very end. Okay. So the side brackets here are going to mount to the seat. So, uh, you have to drill your seat. Make sure you've got the right amount of lean back. Make sure you've got the right position. Um, I think I said where I was at is we were going to um, basically put the seat in, mark it all up, and we're going to drill one side, go ahead and mount it, and then position this side, make sure the seat's level, and then go ahead and mount it up. Um, I will kind of check back in with you uh, as we're doing it, and I will show you the finished product. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this video is as I was planning all of this, I was having a hard time finding a good solution to the, the bracket issue I was having. Uh, there was just no good information for a person who is six foot four out there as to what brackets were going to work well to be able to drop the seat way down. Some of the brackets that are out there, literally the base of the bracket sits like way up here which again, if you're six foot four in a Fox body, that's way too high. It puts your head way up into the ceiling. Uh, and then with a helmet on, it's, it's even worse. Um, so for that reason, I'm doing this video to kind of help, you know, maybe in the future, help somebody else who comes along who's also tall. Uh, this bracket, assuming you can find it, it's still being made, will we'll do what you want it to do. Uh, I think it's gonna work extremely well for me. And so I'll check back in with the finished product and kind of show you where we're at. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, I'm back with you here and I'm just gonna kind of show you what, uh, what we did here. Um, so we put some tape, some blue painters tape on the side of the seat. And I didn't wanna take the center console out of the car because I'm lazy, I guess. 
So we tried this way. I think this is going to work. So what we did was put tape on, we put the car, the seat in where we wanted it, and then I stuck a small pencil that we'd cut off, a white pencil down in, and as you can see here, we've got a line here from the front slotted bracket, and then a dot over here where we marked the, uh, the center hole on the back of the bracket. So what we're going to go ahead and do is mark, or go ahead and uh, drill those, go ahead and put the seat back in, get the hardware in for that side, and then there should be enough movement in the seat on the other side. We'll get the seat level and everything, and then go ahead and drill the other side, mark the other side, drill the other side, and put the hardware in the other side. After that, we'll put all the hardware in, tighten everything down, should be good to go. And I'll kind of show you the finished product once we get to that point. Um, but that's kind of where we're at for now. So I'll be back with you here in just a few minutes. All right, guys, well, we're back here with the car. And as you can see here, we've got our finished product. So this is uh, that same bracket that I showed you know earlier in the video, the um, FFP one from Summit. And I'll kind of come down here and show you what we're working with. So this is the Kirky seat. And as you can see, so we've got our seat bolted here on the sides. Um, we've gone here, so, so there is some adjustment in lean back here. There's also a little bit of adjustment here. And then over here on this side is where you've got your two inner bolts here. So this is your side mount. Um, you can see back here in the back where I've got my roll bar. It is kind of right up against it. And what I've done is I've uh, I got some foam with adhesive on the back. And I've stuck it here on the back of the seat there, here in the middle and at the top here. I took some uh, rubber hose and actually split it, kind of like you would do for like, like a split loom almost. And I wrapped the top of the seat in that so that when the seat is up against the roll bar there at the top, it's not metal on metal um, making a, a rattly metal noise. Uh, and as I see here at the Kirky, I do have the cover off. I do have a cover for it. Um, so once I'm done here, I will throw the cover on and then I will also show you the finished product with the cover on. But this is pretty much it. It's all locked in, it's all bolted in, everything went smooth. Uh, I already sat in it, it's, I got plenty of leg room, plenty of head room now. Um, the seat sits way back, so it is doable. Uh, and this is the, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, this is the 18 and a half inch wide Kirky seat. Um, when I even bought the seat, I, I could not find any videos where anyone had done the 18 and a half inch wide. I didn't even know if it would physically fit in the Fox body, but it does. And even on my door bars here, as you can see, like it clears the seat right here uh, without any problem. There's plenty of room there, you know, so that clears. Um, so everything looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Kind of been a long journey, a long endeavor getting here, but I think it's gonna do exactly what I needed it to do. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw the pad in it now and I'll show you how that looks with the the comfortable padding in it. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, we're back with you one more time. And there we go. So there is the seat. That's with the seat cover on it. That is the Kirky seat cover. Um, it's not super thick, but it does add enough padding and stuff that it actually makes the seat really comfortable. Um, it looks really good. I'm actually really happy with it. I just sat in the car. Feels amazing. I've got plenty of leg room now, uh, plenty of headroom. I'm not completely scrunched in like I was in the other seat. So I'm actually really, really happy with it. There's the belts. I got to finish doing a few things with the belts, and I got to finish putting in the uh, the submarine belt or the sissy bar, sissy strap that goes through the legs and all that. I got to clip that in. I already have a mountain down there. I just have to stick it in and clip it, clip it under the car. But that is pretty much a wrap on the installation on the Kirky seat. Uh, the next thing I'm working on is a RF wireless trans brake and bump setup. So instead of having wires that connect on the wheel and connect under the dash and they wrap around the column and all that, because I hate that, I'm trying to work on a setup where all that will be wireless on the steering wheel, built into the wheel. And then I will have a, that'll be an RF transmitter. I'll have an RF receiver that's in the center console connected to the trans brake and the bump buttons. And when you press the button on the remote that's attached to the steering wheel, 
it will activate the RF part, which will activate the trans brake and the, and the uh, bump. Not sure how it's gonna work. I'm not sure how the delay is gonna be. It's gonna be enough to cause an issue, but we're gonna find out. So that's kind of what we're working on next. Um, and then after that is done, and now that this is done, my plan is to try to get the car out to the track here in the next, hopefully in at least in the next month. Uh, I know there's our, there are a couple of events coming up down in North Carolina in the next few weeks. I like to try to make it to those, but we'll see. Sometimes life gets in the way. So with that, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, if I think of anything else to show you before I totally wrap up here, I'll, I'll come back and show you, but I think that's going to be it. So don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel. If you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one, guys.